Here we have a Makito X4 video encoder. And now we're going to show you how to set up a live video stream. So the first thing is to log into the Makito X4 user interface using a web browser. Here we see that we have eight encoding cores. Each core can be configured to one of the four video inputs and can encode video at a specific resolution and bitrate. Here we see that we can also choose which type of codec to use, H.264 or HEVC. Up here we see that the first core is encoding 4K video from a 12G SDI input. Now let's go back and have a look at the audio encoding cores. Here we see that we have 16 stereo audio encoding cores. If we select the first one, we can then view and change the settings. For example, we can switch from stereo to mono. Now let's have a look and see what we can do with a video encoding core. Here we can click on the first encoding core, and we can see all the different parameters that we can select and change. For example, here we can choose between using an H.264 or HFEC encoding codec. And here we can then choose the different profiles that are available depending on which codec selected above. For this example, let's choose main 422 10-bit for HEVC. Further down, we can also select which combination of chroma subsampling, 422 or 420, and pixel depth, 8 or 10-bit. Here we can specify what our maximum and target bit rate should be. In this case, let's increase the target bit rate from 9 to 10 megabits per second. Further down, we can also select an output resolution, and we can set a frame rate, and GOP framing, iframe only, IP, IPP, and so on. Okay, so now let's apply these encoding parameters. Then the next step is to configure our output stream. Here we can see that a number of streams have already been set using several encoding cores for different destinations. This is where the Makito X4's multi-bitrate streaming comes through, with streams for all of your workflow elements. Since in our example we want to be able to send out live 4K content to our production studio, let's create a new stream here. We will call it HVC Encoder 0 to Production. Then we'll select an encoding core. In this case, we'll stick to the first one for our 4K stream. We can then scroll and choose a streaming protocol. For example, if we select SRT, we can then configure the SRT stream in caller, listener, or rendezvous mode. We can then select what amount of latency we want in regards to error correction. We can turn on AES encryption if needed. But for this example, let's create a UDP stream. Here we enter an IP address and a port number. We apply our changes. And there we go. We have successfully created a 4K HV stream with a Makito X4. Thanks for watching.